Hello and welcome my friends. I'm Dr. Shabdur Shivanji coming to you at a time when the world is recovering from COVID-19. Very many people, very many patients you'll come across have had COVID diagnosed or perhaps undiagnosed but they're still suffering from the lingering effects of COVID. In this world, homeopathy has a very good answer to those lingering after effects of COVID-19 which the medical fraternity is calling as post-COVID-19 syndrome or long COVID. Myself in the Indian subcontinent, my father in the United Kingdom as well as across the globe have been treating patients who are recovering from COVID-19. As you understand, the COVID peak has been different times in different parts of the world. Hence, we have been handling post-COVID-19 syndromes or long COVID throughout the year over the last one year since COVID started. Some of the common ailments which are coming up post-COVID is weakness, fatigue, fibromyalgia, tinnitus, loss of smell and taste, or alteration of smell and taste, insomnia, depression, apathy, anxiety, panic attacks, cardiac weakness. So these are the common features which are coming up in post-COVID-19 patients or patients of long COVID. I'll be sharing with you remedies, practical remedies, which I have been using, which we have been using to help these patients on their path to recovery so that they do not suffer from the lingering after effects of COVID-19. Again, my friends, this is a two-part series where I'll be sharing with you some of the commonest remedies which I've been using in this post-COVID-19 recovery world. And I'm sure these remedies will come to your rescue wherever in any part of the globe where you reside. I'll be sharing with you again remedies again in no particular order which we have been using and try, trying to share with you as well the innate comparative metro medica so that you can implement those remedies in the real world. My number one in this list my friends is sorinum. If you think of a remedy like sorinum there's a lot of weakness, low appetite especially after recovery from an acute illness. If you think of cases of COVID where they had a diarrhea, so there was a loss of vital fluid and sorinum can help in those aspects as well, where there was a loss of vital fluids as well. So in those conditions where you have weakness, you have loss of appetite, post an acute illness, especially COVID in today's world, along with that, there is the chilliness, which is an important factor of sorinum. Along with that, there's hopelessness, there's despair of recovery. Will I ever recover? Will, I, will my lingering COVID symptoms ever go away? So there's always that hopelessness and pessimism in Sorinam, which is quite pertinent in today's world. All of these remedies which I'm sharing with you, my friends, are useful for post-COVID-19, not because their symptoms match, but on one hand, you have etiology, where there's an after effects of an acute illness, where there's an exhausting effects of an acute illness resulting in these group of symptoms. So you're putting in perspective etiology on one hand, the manifestation on the other hand. So in that way, these remedies are more apt and effective because they are covering the etiology of an acute illness, of an acute flu or an acute infection. Obviously, I've brought them down to zinc. Any remedy can be useful in patients recovering from COVID-19. But here I'm trying to share with you remedies which have an etiology as well as a manifestation <clears throat> to take care. So sorinum will have the weakness, will have the loss of appetite, especially after loss of fluids or after an acute illness. Along with that, the chilliness, you know, sorinum is the chilliest medicine in the Metro Medica. The chilliness along with hopelessness and there's a despair of recovery, which is very important for sorinum. Sometimes the vitality is low, so 30C is always apt to start with, you can go up to 200C. My second medicine, my friends, in this list is Natrum Ars, Natrum Arsenicosum. Again, if you see in Borike's Metromedica, there is a line, often facilitates the termination of the cold and conserves the strength and appetite. So it will help in terminating the cold. It will conserve the strength, it will conserve the appetite. Now I'll be thinking it is similar to Sorina. Yes, it is, with the loss of appetite, with the loss of strength. But again, you have to put in perspective, Sorinum will be very, very chilly on one hand. But Natrum Ars is a combination of Natrum and Arsenicum. One is hot, one is chilly. So you can have either in Natrum Ars. Secondly, if you think of Sorinum, you have the hopelessness, you have the pessimism. Whereas in Natrum Ars, as a consequence of seeing some near and dear ones hospitalized or being fatal, you'll see either the anxiety of Arsenicum in Natrum Ars or you'll see 
there is a retention and solitude desire of natrum in natromars but natromars is wonderfully effective in today's world where you have loss of strength where you have loss of appetite and there's lingering cold symptoms and natromars will take care of that in a patient who's having either the anxiety of arsenicum or there is a retention and brooding of natrum 30c 200c again is very effective natromars sometimes the natromars it is a remedy for minor asthma but obviously for covid-19 patients you will find a certain degree of oppression in the chest again which you will not find with sorinum but natromars if you see in borikes metromedica any other metromedica you will find it mentions about the oppression in the chest which is quite important my third medicine my friends in this list is another arsenicum is chininum ars chininum arsenicosum again my friends chininum ars is a remedy which will help you as a general tonic it helps you with the weakness after an acute infection if you look in borikes metromedica there is a specific line circulatory weakness after an acute infection and that is very very specific and apt for post covid 19 patients the circulatory weakness the weakness in circulation the slowness in circulation what is that causing there is that always shortness of breath post covid 19 patients who have had lung infection will complain to you that i feel shortness of breath i am out of breath and especially on ascending the stairs you'll find chininum ars be very effective where you have shortness of breath while i'm ascending the stairs that's very important how to differentiate with other remedies in chininum ars patient is also better by bending forward like arsenicum but the difference of chininum ars and arsenicum is they want to be bending forward in front of an open window you know arsenicum is chilly so doesn't he, she doesn't want that but in case of chininum ars they want to be bent forward but in front of an open window so although you have the arsenicum component but chininum ars is strongly better in fresh open air so they need fresh open air and especially with the shortness of breath they feeling better by bending forward because as arsenic component but they also better in fresh open air that's important the circulatory weakness is very very classical for chininum ars especially for patients who have had a post covid 19 pneumonia they're recovering they're out of breath they want open air but at the same time they're bending forward that differentiates chininum ars from arsenicum album which is very important and obviously you have the arsenicum component so there's a weakness always persistent in case of chininum ars 30c 200c again very good choice of potency for chininum ars my fourth medicine my friends in this list again a very common complaint in today's world of post covid 19 recovery is cardiac irritability so think of cases where you had covid and after that you're having anxiety you're having panic attacks you're having a lot of palpitation along with that and my friends the top remedy for that is scutellaria s c u t e l l e r i a scutellaria s c u t e l l e r i a scutellaria latifolia it's in borike and clark's dictionary very many of my friends have been prescribing aconite as well i understand aconite is more with the fear of death with that kind of panic panic attack and anxiety but here in case of scutellaria is just the anxiety and panic attack which is coming up post covid if you see in borike it's mentioned that there is cardiac irritability after influenza and that cardiac irritability is the palpitation that's important for your scutellaria along with that it's a nervous sedative so insomnia post covid 19 with the anxiety with the panic attack it's a nervous sedative so it will help to bring in sleep you see in the sleep section and i've had patients where you're having night terrors post covid you're suffering from like a post traumatic stress disorder with lot of night terrors with lot of nightly restlessness you're having insomnia not being able to sleep and that is augurs very well for your scutellaria so if you make a triangle for scutellaria on top of the triangle nervous sedative insomnia second side of the triangle you have the cardiac irritability where you're having palpitation with anxiety and the panic attacks and on the third side you're finding there is that nightly restlessness which is important especially in patients who are having sexual debility as well post covid 19 there is an impotency there is spermatorrhea post covid again it's mostly to related with the emotional frame of mind where they are really anxious where they are real panicky and that's very very classical for scutellaria latifolia 6c 30c 200c works really really well so sleep is affected palpitation is affected there's a lot of restlessness along with impotency spermatorrhea where the sexual weakness is quite prominent and there is a factor in scutellaria where the patient feels i won't get better anymore 
with the anxiety. So anxiety on one hand with the feeling of not getting better, with the palpitation and with the insomnia. So nervous sedative specially adapted in cases for cardiac irritability post influenza. Here the cardiac irritability is the anxiety which is important, is the palpitation which is important. My next remedy, my friends, in this list, I think I gave you Sorinum, I gave you Natromars, I gave you Scutellaria, I gave you Chininamars. My fifth medicine in this list, again, patients are coming to you with shortness of breath post COVID-19 is Lobelia syphilitica or Lobelia cerulea. Lobelia syphilitica is a remedy you'll find in Borica's Metromedica in the relationship of Lobelia inflata or in Clark's Dictionary. Lobelia syphilitica is a fantastic remedy especially in post COVID-19 where patients are complaining to you of oppression of chest as if the air is not reaching deep into the lungs. Again, patients who had had a massive lung infection during COVID, now they're in the recovery phase. They feel oppression. They feel I'm not being able to breathe deep. The air is not going deep into my lungs. And that is very, very classical for post COVID-19 patients. Along with that, there's always an oppressed feeling in the left part of the chest. That is quite important for Lobelia syphilitica. But it's also important, along with this respiratory complaint where they feel the air is not going deep into the lungs, there's also a factor in Lobelia cerulea syphilitica that the brain is affected. There's a brain weakness. They cannot concentrate. The exertion of mind is intolerable. It's like I'm growing crazy. My brain is going wild. That feature you'll find also in Lobelia syphilitica. Also, they feel depressed. There's unhappiness post COVID-19 as well. So your Lobelia syphilitica will not only address the emotional, but also the physical plane as well, where you're feeling oppression, air is not going deep into the lungs, especially my left chest. At the same time, I feel my brain is weak. I'm not being able to exert my mind. I'm not being able to apply my mind. Exertion of mind is intolerable. And I feel my brain is going crazy. And at the same time, I feel very unhappy. And that will differentiate with you from Chinina Mars, where Chinina Mars is more when ascending, I feel shortness of breath and I feel better in open air. I feel better by bending forward. Whereas in Lobelia syphilitica, you don't have those modalities as such to differentiate. 6C, 30C, 200C is a very useful prescription in today's world for post COVID 19 patients who have just recovered from COVID pneumonia. If you recall, I shared with you in COVID pneumonia, you have natrium salts, where there's a constant desire to take deep breaths, but that is more in the active stage of COVID-19. Think of patients who have here prescribed natrium salts during COVID and they have recovered, but they still tell you, my air is not going deep into my lungs. I feel an oppression, especially around my left chest. If you recall, natrium salts was also left-sided. Lobelia syphilitica will come to your rescue, especially with unhappiness, especially where there's a brain weakness lingering on. 630, 200, you can help with Lobelia syphilitica, my friends. My next medicine in this list, again, doing the comparative metromedica, is another remedy for respiratory complaints post COVID, where you have Pix liquida, P I X, Pix liquida, is a remedy for cough remaining after flu, cough remaining after COVID. You had COVID 19, you have prescribed different cough remedies taken care, but there's a still a lingering cough remaining on. You don't have any modalities to prescribe. What do you do? Try Pix Liquida. If you look in the Metromedicas, you'll find many other remedies, Creosote, Iriodictyon, Calibic, which are remedies for cough post influenza. But my friends, I've had very good success with Pix Liquida for cough post COVID-19. Especially when you again, when you have there's an oppressed feeling at the left chest and the sputum, if there is any sputum coming up, it's more like a pussy sputum, like a mucopurulent sputum, which is coming up. But even if you are devoid of these symptoms, there's a lingering cough, which is remaining post flu, post COVID, do always, always think of Pix Liquida. 30C works best. 30C is the only potency which really works for Pix Liquida. Again, the difference with Lobelia syphilitica, Lobelia has also got an oppression in the left chest, but there's not much cough in Lobelia syphilitica. Lobelia is more like the dyspnea is unable to take in the air. The air is not going deep into the lungs. But in case of Pix Liquida, there's a cough which is lingering on without any modality. As if you have tried your Brania, Spongia, all other respiratory remedies, but still not helping. Give a last try to pick stick with it. 30C works best for picks. My next medicine, my friends, in this list, you'll find very commonly patients coming to you with loss of smell and taste post COVID. I've tried Justicia Aratota. I shared this with you in, in another session. Justicia is really useful for cough with loss of smell and taste, but Justicia is not in my list because it was more ligure in acute phase of COVID 19. But patients have recovered from COVID 19. Still, there is a lingering loss of smell and taste. 
do think of Magnesia muriatica. Magmur, you'll find specifically mentioned Borica's dictionary, Borica's Metromedica, where you have Keter is followed by loss of smell and taste, and that's a specific affinity for Magnesia muriatica. Along with that, a patient is constipated, that works wonderfully, but even if you do not have the constipation, you can go ahead with Magmur in 30C and 200C for loss of smell and taste following COVID. Again, coming on those terms, you'll find another remedy which is very useful is carbolic acid, where you have alteration of smell and taste, specifically in carbolic acid, do remember, there's acuteness of smell. Even if something is at a very far distance, they can smell it. It's almost like they have an olfactory sensibility, olfactory increased sensibility. And that is very classical for carbolic acid. Again, 30C, 200C works well for carbolic acid. So loss of smell and taste is more magnum, whereas increased olfactory sensibility, you can you are smelling it more. That's carbolic acid. And obviously, because it's an acid, you'll have a lot of weakness in carbolic acid as well, which is quite, quite prominent. 200C, 1M, I'll say works well because it's more on the neurological special senses plane. Carbolic acid works well with the higher potencies. And that's very, very classical. I gave you Sorina, I gave you Natromars, I gave you Scutellaria, I gave you Pix, I gave you Lobelia syphilitica, I gave you Chinina Mars, I gave you Carbolic Acid, I gave you Magmure, I gave you eight remedies, my friends. I'll finish this first part with two more other fantastic remedies in this list. Think of patients who have had COVID-19 pneumonia and now they are recovering from COVID-19 pneumonia, especially where you find patients where they are having some cardiac discomfort could be ectopic beats could be arrhythmias post covid or they're having some neurological twitching like chorea or muscle twitching post covid 19 recovery pneumococcine is a fantastic remedy especially for patients who have recovered from covid pneumonia i repeat for heart affection and for those who have got neurological affection especially post COVID-19 pneumonia. Tyler mentions this in her pointers to remedies where patients have recovered from pneumonia, heart and nerves are affected. Pneumococcine works really, really well. And I've used it in few patients who have had arrhythmias post COVID-19 recovery, especially COVID-19 pneumonia recovery and pneumococcine works well in those conditions as well. My number 10 to round up this list, my friends, is one of the commonest remedies to be used in this condition is carbovegetabilis. Carboveg is obviously a go-to remedy because again, you have the etiology, exhausting effects of some previous illness, exhausting effects of COVID-19, resulting in respiratory to be affected. What if respiratory is affected? I'm better by fanning. What if gastric is affected? There's slow digestion. There is weak digestion. I'm better by eructation. So number one, loss of Vital fluids again is important. So a patient with COVID-19, a lot of diarrhea and now recovering, you can use carbovegetabilis. Exhausting effects from some previous illness, resulting in respiratory affection, better by fanning, resulting in gastric affection, better by eructation as well. So I gave you 10 remedies with good comparative differences. I'll be coming up to you again with my second part, where I'll be sharing with you the few more remedies to wrap it up. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Long live Honeyman, long live homeopathy.